good day guys today i'm going to be showing you how i created this visual effect shot so firstly let's go to how the main video was shot as you can see i shot myself walking through a door i'm a solo team so i shot myself alone walking through a door and also this is going to be very important when you're shooting make sure because this is a door so there is another there's another room here so make sure another camera is going to be at the same angle as which this your camera is facing this guy so that you'll be able to have a reflection to replicate off in your compositing or wherever you are going to create the effect then shooting myself walking through a door with two cameras at the edge yeah pretty much the first thing i did after that jumped into blender this is where the main magic happens so uh, let's see let's see what is going on this this is more like a tutorial tutorial per se whereby i was actually you how i model this and model that and all those rubbish but and just hide something so in my camera here I imported my footage as you can see i imported my footage go to my blender camera then since i shot this on a tripod i lined the perspective with my eye then just my the camera settings and all that the sensor size and everything very important all this information then after i match this the next step was to import a human and then it's very easy for me. Just I roughly animated the human to follow my movement. So you can see I go way back. So I just picked it up from a certain direction. And then I animated the human to come forward, walk through the door, through the door. Because the idea is to have a mirror by the door. So just animated the human to walk through the door. Just keyframe location like the whole human. There's no subtle movement. And you tell him to turn right like I did, turn left like I did. When I first did this animation, I thought I was going to use the human model as a reflection, but that didn't work so well. So I think I'd actually shot reflection footage. If not, I would have been in it. A kind of deep shit. So after that, I modeled this mirror. And then on the mirror glass, that is a separate object. You give it a dynamic plane. I don't know how to call these modifiers or what. Shall in the simulation side, you give them, you give it a dynamic paint. If you go to object mode, I see that the mirror has a lot of uh, vertices. You have to make sure the mirror is properly subdivided if you want the effect to flow like a river. So when you give it dynamic paint, this is very important. Let me show you an example. So let's say I give this dynamic paint. And I add it as a canvas. You can see what is affecting. The surface type is paint. You may as well to make sure that for this effect, the surface type is wave because like the matrix effect, the way the, the mirror, mirror is like liquid. So you may as well to make sure the surface type is wave. That's something you should note. So know that you just put that I mean, like, ah, say it's not working. After you add your dynamic paint to the mirror, I'm making it waves. Then on your human, you also add the dynamic paint. But then instead of a canvas, like this, like the other one was, instead of a canvas, you make it a brush. And simply what that means is that this brush is like a paint down the dynamic paint object. So anywhere this brush hits, waves will come out. So that's why you can see, you can see waves. Simulation is already big. Let me hide this character. You can see, you can see waves anywhere it is. You can see waves, waves. So that's just the whole idea. So after we have the dynamic pin set up, you have to adjust some parameters. Let's change the time scale. Let's say to one or stay 
Vous savez, vous avez un bon esprit. Et je vous dis, c'est des temps qui ne sont pas affectés, mais des temps qui sont affectés la speed, la speed de the of the admission of the waves. That's what the time scale necessarily affects. Then time scale has speed work hand in hand. And this dampening very important one because it was very high. You can see. Metric much is really hard for you. It's going to dampen it like bam like it's the waves are never going to go far because they are dampened. Yeah. Which is very low. Let's see. You can see the waves are going far and they are even coming out. You know, to make sure these settings are set very well. Uh, these, are, these, are my, these are my default settings here. So you, you want to make sure that these settings are, are set for your individual preference. You know, start with that, I'll see. You want to make sure these settings are set for your individual preference. So you can see. You want to make sure these are set for your individual preference. There are small waves at the edge, but for my camera view, that doesn't really matter. So when we have the dynamic pin set up and everything set up, now this is where the whole stuff comes in. So I had a plane for my reflection. My reflection shot, I had a plane for the reflection. Let's hide the humor. I had a plane for the reflection so that the, so that the plane can show my reflection, but this is a long time ago I did this project, so I've deleted the textures for the play. Just quite sad. If I knew I'll be doing little videos, I wouldn't have. So that's why I show you popular I mean, the textures are nowhere to be found. I've almost I didn't know when I evacuated maybe when I was looking for space. So if you can help me in space, I'll very much appreciate it. And another important information to note right now. If that's if you have not subscribed, let us subscribe. That's just all. <laughs> I'm begging. I don't know. This YouTube thing is weird, but yeah, we'll see. I'm, I'm doing it like a stream so that I don't want to do too much editing. So I had a plane with my reflection, and then another thing I did in this scene was to create a whole sphere, and this sphere was just essentially 360 degree texture of my environment that was there that day let's hide the plane so as you can see just a rough 360 degree image and then for the shading just an emission shader on it so that to illuminate the scene very simple that was for the that's for the 360 degree environment for the for the mirror then my reflection plane i rotated myself out so that I only have myself working. So I match this 360 degree image I I brought into Blender. I matched it with how my original reflection image was kind of looking. Then I wrote myself off just for more flexibility. So that's just simply it. So that's just simply this whole scene in general. This whole scene just consists of the mirror with the guys listen this is the important part this whole thing we just have the mirror with the dynamic paint applied to it then we have the wall which is used as a shadow catcher so that wherever wherever the mirror is resting there will be like a, a thin shadow there as you're about to see wherever the mirror is resting will be a thin shadow i don't know if you guys can see a thin shadow just to more put the mirror into the scene as well it's for so basically my mirror for my dynamic paint then my walls for shadow catching my sphere with my 360 degree image for shadow catching too this sphere is for shadow is for shadow catching to, to cast those reflections on the mirror then my plane for my reflection, we have this guy. My plane for my reflection, and then that's just basically all. Render settings is just make sure your reflection shadow catched, your 360 degree image shadow catched, and then your 
wall. Yes, your wall. Your wall shall be cast. Once everything is set up, once you press render. So when you render, let's just render an image to check it out. When you render, you need to see that everything is hidden because there are shadow catchers and your this thing is set to transparent. So everything will be hidden. Everything will be hidden apart from your mirror because the mirror is the main thing we want. Does the mirror we need dynamic paint effect? That's just the main thing we want. And as here it is very beautiful. So essentially that's just what we have for Blender and then now it's time to go into your compositing software. Any compositing software of your choice. I did some play like I need Photoshop, Fusion, and then we hit film. Anyone that you prefer. So I used After Effects to composite this shot. Simply what I did is very easy. I've already deleted uh, the bypassed. But anyways, I already deleted the image sequence. So for my future videos, my future videos, that's why you should subscribe. Sad. My future videos are going to be more organized because I'm going to plan it out. I'm going to do that. Yes, I want to create the two years out of this. So subscribe so you get the real in-depth thing I'm doing because recording then is going to choke. So for my future videos, subscribe. So anyways, I didn't know I was going to be doing this. So I deleted the image sequence, but really with this one frame, I uh, exported here. Yeah, I can just tell you simply what I did. As you can see, if I hide the mirror, you can see this is my shot. So I just brought, <clears throat> I just brought my mirror into my shot, which is going to overlay on my guy normally. If I just bring the mirror into the shot, it's going to cover the guy. You can see it just blends perfectly with edges, the shadow catching, doing the job, everything. The, uh, what they call it, the tutorial assisted degree image showing the reflection everything light everywhere light coming from this direction we would also make sure you watch that your 3d software i forgot to mention that make sure you watch the light coming from the direction it's just like a simple light coming from a window let's come to your compositing software have a, a first image which is like the background this is like the main guy the main guy so i i created his background drag one of my main shots use it as the background then imported the mirror after importing the mirror, I placed on the, the same shot on top again, but then this time I rotated myself out. I was going to use the After Effects Roto brush, but as you can see, my skin and this door, they are the same color and that really caused a lot of errors. So I just had to go in by hand, I think it was like two days of Roto. That was, this was the first time I ever did Rotary rotoscoping and I, I feel it really came out well so i just had different marks different mask for different sides of my body so that would be easy like you can see this one is for my head things like that this one is for my chest or my body so you just have different different mask you animate them over time like as you're moving frame by frame maybe animating the the mask but in, i told you i can't show you because i've already deleted the image sequence if i go for the wall frame you can see it's not matching it's not matching it's only really matching with this frame because i just rendered this frame to show you guys how the work was done but then essentially that's what you do you go to we would do like that you would do as the frame frame by frame one by one as it goes as you go one frame, you enter, you press it, you adjust, you adjust the mask, as you can see here. So, once you have done that, going frame by frame, real trade. For the, for the whole video, everything's all right. And then after that, you cannot do some small color grading, you show some customization, like I think I did final grade. I just made it a little bit green. So like emulate that matrix kind of feeling. If I turn it on, you can see it just spill. So I just added some green stuff like that to emulate that matrix kind of feeling. So other than that, what I've done here is not that complicated. It will take time. 
very easy shot to pull off. You can see, you should be looking at a shot like this. Like I said, let's go frame by frame. Frame by frame, you can see. Now Roto, he cut it. Uh, this is really forgiving because if you can see from this frame, from this frame to this frame, I see it just opens, but since it flows, it flows with the, like the mirror is liquid, so it just flows. So it's really forgiving. So it just flows, everywhere just flows out. Very impressive shots. I like this one. You can see where I wrote him to come out according to how the 3D model penetrated the dynamic paint. So once everything is there, it's good. Thank you very much, guys, for sticking with me. You should stuck for this moment. Thank you. This is like my first tutorial kind of video, so I'll say I'm a little bit rusty. My sound. <laughs> if you want to help me, if you have seen this video, I see you more. What is this guy doing? This guy is no, not doing it the right way. Let me tell you how you can help me. That subscribe, then share it to your friends. So you can help me out. You can leave any comments saying what you think. If you are a, if you are, if you, if you are a 3D artist or you, you are into visual effects, you can leave any comments saying what you think. I think I've done better or how you think I would have done it. If you're a new guy, you can tell me what you would like to see. What I should do next time. I don't know what the, what the new guys are looking for now. No. So that was just essentially how I created these shots. Also, follow me on all my socials. Links in the description. Thank you. Bye.